Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. It's Antonia here. Now let's jump right into this vlog. First stop is the St. Thomas of the United States, Virgin Islands, located in the Caribbean. It took me a minute to understand that we were driving on the left side of the road and I wasn't going to get hit by another vehicle. Oh yeah, they're really about that boat life. And generally that's because you need a ferry, a charter, or some sort of boat to get to the nearby islands. And here I've arrived to Yost Van Dyke. Some say Yost, some say Jost, but I asked the locals and they say Yost. And I'm clearly a local because I love it here and you'll see why. The British Virgin Islands has about 60 tropical Caribbean islands. And I only know about three. That would be Tortola, Yost Van Dyke, and Little Yost Van Dyke. Oh! There's Stephanie. She's definitely one of my crazy friends you'll see throughout this vlog. To me, this is my favorite island in the world. The most beautiful, the most smallest, intimate type of island that I've ever been to. And it holds probably about 298 people. I honestly don't know that for sure, but according to the 2010 census, there was about 298 people then. So roughly now it's probably about 350. Either way, it's beautiful. White Bay Harbor. This is honestly one of my favorite beaches I've ever seen, ever, ever, ever. From the soft sand and the crystal clear turquoise water, I promise you this was the most beautiful experience I had to myself. There are tons of activities you can do here, including snorkeling. Don't forget about the bars, the restaurants. Many sailors make sure they make their way to the White Bay and grab a nice painkiller drink and enjoy the beautiful view, of course. The most popular area on the island is the Great Harbor. Along the harbor, you will find many restaurants, boutiques, bars. And here you have the most popular spot of them all, Foxy's. Here at Foxy's Bar and Tamarine, it's the most friendly, welcoming, family-oriented place I've been to. Up oh, and there goes Stephanie. Having some good old time at Jenga. And gravity wins. Bless her amazing heart. Not only does Foxy have amazing delicious food and drinks that will have you dancing all night, you don't want to miss the nightlife at Foxy's. Luckily, I was able to witness a live band, One Nation, which consists of Misha, very talented vocalist with a good heart, my talented friend Benji, the guitarist, Ross, Aisha, the amazing vocalist. Okay, we see you, Tristan, on the keyboards. We have KC, the bass player, and Nathan rocking out on the drums. This place definitely made me feel like home the moment I got off of the boat. But aren't you wondering who's Foxy? Also known as keeping it real. Yeah. And there he is, Foxy, aka Feliciano Callwood, the happiest man on the island. Foxy is filled with accomplishments and is even placed in the Hall of Fame. Your trip really wouldn't be complete if you didn't get to see Foxy himself in the flesh. This man will keep you entertained with jokes, laughter, singing, guitar playing, and amazing history of his life and Yos Van Dyke. I was so excited to catch him in his element. Foxy was placed in a prestigious Charter Hall of Fame. He's also hosted the island's annual Most Unique Regatta. The now world famous regatta is known for showing off their boats, the pieces of the crafts, and so much more. The regatta may come off as serious, but they make sure they have some serious partying and serious fun as well. Those pictures that the Queen of England honored me for my contribution towards tourism in, uh, in a country. So I had to go to England so I asked a fellow by the name of Richard Branson if he'll give me a ticket to go to England. Richard Branson came up with two upper class tickets, me and my wife, over to England. And I, I took this buddy of mine, his name is Henry Jurecki. He owns Guana Island and he owns Norman Island. And I took him in a palace and he threw a dinner party for seven of us, me and my friends, in the House of Lords. A dinner party in the House of Lords. There's no way I was going to get in the House of Lords if it was not for Henry Jurecki. 
So those two friends I'll always have. Wow. Richard and Henry. I could not get enough of the beaches, the mountains, and the views. Everyone was so friendly. I definitely wasn't missing home. What I found intriguing was how the students, I believe the high school students, they would take the ferry to and from school, which the school would be in Tortola, the next island over. That is pretty awesome. Hi. <laughs> That's my little buddy right there. I had to get the game together, you know, to show them how fast I am, you know, like lightning. Here we go in three, two, one. Oh, and then this happens. Yost Van Dyke, like the other British Virgin Islands, has suffered extremely from Hurricane Irma back in 2017, which was a Category 5 storm. The island's hillsides were stripped of vegetation. Yost Van Dyke's primary school, health clinic, and two patrol stations were destroyed, while most of the island's homes were damaged. And you said this is what? Before? We get up. Government take us over. And you're saying that now that the since the government took over, the beach is smaller? Oh, they bring her back out on a big truck and they haul away the sand to make road. Big, and big that big is road. why all those gravel, see all the rocks coming down on the beach now? Oh, because it's slated. Instead of sand, you are not deep. I'm in rock. With little aid from the British or territorial governments, Foxy's Tamarin Bar and Restaurant was set up as a recovery and a command center. Being that Foxy's was the recovery and command center, food from other restaurants and residences were brought to Foxy's, which housed the island's only major surviving refrigerator and generators. Oh, huh? I wish we could be. I want to see. Explain to me about your shirt. Oh, I'm a Trump man. That's why, you know, I couldn't resist it. Couldn't resist it. Can you tell me to look at the back of your shirt? Oh, yeah. Right, can you? Great. Yeah, see? Oh, yes, yes, yes. So explain and to that's me. That's why, that's why I'm doing this. And what do you mean? How is he in that way? How is he in that way? Yes. You got one Caribbean, you got one Venezuela, you got one Virgin Islands, you got Chavez, you never way of thinking, controlled Venezuela. Trump, and he way of thinking, controlled the Virgin Islands. Look what you got in the Virgin Islands, look at the board, the freedom, the people going backward, and, and look what you got in Venezuela. Now my common sense told me, if you don't like this, then you're going to read out what there is in Venezuela. And I don't want nobody to tell me I must change what is going on here, because I love it. <laughs> it's not bothering me. Why should I change this and get what is in Venezuela? I know what I have. I don't know what the heck I expect to get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like this. Like, airplanes going backward and forward, no blockade, no nothing, no bombs and guns and all this bullshit. You can't do this in Venezuela. So let them keep that and let me keep this. Thank you. That's why I love Trump. few of my nights there, I was able to check out Foxy's School of Music. The leader and teacher is my good old friend Benji from Motivational Edge, based out of Miami, Florida. What I really love about this school is that it opens up opportunities for children and adults on the island. The school provides access to music instrument classes, music production, and recording classes. So explain to me from the, what's the next step after? At the music school. Well, the next step, hopefully, that that move across the way 
and you got a whole complex with you got a clinic, you got beds, or six or seven beds for people to stay in if you are. You have a place where, like a factory, like where young kids could learn arts and crafts and paintings and dancing and whatever that comes from moving the kids forward, whatever. But I only can find the land and the ideas and stuff and make a few C dollars. But it's you all got to keep it going. Those who behind got to keep the whole thing. The moment I walked into the foxhole, I really didn't see the purpose of me packing. They had everything I needed. This is one of the most famous boutiques in the British Virgin Islands. And it is owned by Foxy's Tamarin and Restaurant. Foxy's wife of nearly 40 years, Tessa, runs this show. Tessa makes sure the place is stocked, branded with Foxy's gear, gift items, and men and women's clothing. How do you feel branding helped your business? Because I see you have your own rum, you know, Foxy's rum. You have lighters, clothing, merchandise. You have everything, everything, Not and more. Wife. The wife, she handles that. I come up with an idea, and the wife does it. She does the shopping and the running of the store and stuff like that. And there she is, the beautiful Mrs. Caldwood. I got some good footage of Maggie, I mean Winnie, when I walked in, I said Maggie. Oh, you yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as I walked in, she was like, oh, here I go. I'm to lay down, lay back. Pricing all our stuff and then trying to find somewhere to put it. Yes. Always a challenge. <laughs> Once we see so much stuff we like, you know, it's kind of hard to fit it all in. How do you find your Small merchandise? Do well, you I, go to a, I, I go to a couple of shows. Oh. Mostly um, Surf Expo. Okay. In um, Orlando. Oh. Which is where, which is all Caribbean and you know, so it's all mostly resort. Right. And then swim show. You have swim show in Miami. I like that one. Oh, like around swim week? Is that July. that? July. I didn't know that. Oh. I did not know that. Oh, that's fun. Ooh. Yeah, yeah that's a nice show. And I used to go to Atlanta because I had a little store in Tortola mm -hmm. that I did like you know a bit more urban kind of things right. and I had a store there but then we closed it. Annie and I did it for a while and I stopped. I mean I should have probably kept up with it but it's a lot of effort. I bet, I Doing bet. Doing anything on another island. Yes, yeah. totally. How often do you try to find yourself coming to the States? Well I go up twice a year for surf mm -hmm. pretty much but I want to go to other shows but you know it's only limited how much stuff I can carry here. So. Right, totally. Now on the east side of Josvin Dyke, you find Foxy's Taboo, which is a locally famous lunch restaurant bar and gift shop. The gift shop was pretty cool. I had to grab a couple items as well. We made sure to stop here for some drinks and something to eat on our way to our next excursion. And there goes Stephanie rocking that taboo gear. From yours truly, Foxy's Taboo. The bubbly pool. Now how it got its name is how the formation of the rocks are and how the waves hit coming through, creating bubbles in the area. Oh yeah, here go those waves I was telling you about getting ready to crash into Estefani. Honestly, this is definitely one of the most beautiful places I've been to so far. And I just want to thank everyone that supported me during this trip. From the hospitality, making sure I was able to feel like I was home. 
showing me around, educating me on the island, even on the history. It was amazing. I definitely consider these people my family. Thank you to everyone on the island that gave me this experience. I truly recommend any and everyone to visit this place at least once in your lifetime. Okay, time to wrap it up. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for my future travel vlogs. Good, better, best. Never let it rest. Until the good is better and the better is the best. And you see, Foxy is okay. That is one of the things I love. And another thing I love, honesty is the best of policy. If you got honesty, truthfulness, love, nothing can stop you. Amen.